you're super flush. And I got two spark plug. And a whole gas going. In your toilet bowl, you can dump in about a gallon and a half of water here. here so then when I want to get done clean here's where the water level usually is and now it's down at the bottom of the bowl so that's one way you can clean your toilet to fill it flush it and it should fill all the way back to the top here so as you can see it's filled back up to the water stain second way to do it you know, if you don't have easy access to water right there or a bucket you just take your toilet cleaner and you can literally just force this water down the drain so you'll just keep pushing and then this way you don't have to lift anything maybe you have a bad back And there again, I just took this brush and here's the water line and you can see that the water is way below here, the water line up to here. Those are two ways to drain your toilet bowl. I need to drain this down a little bit. I want to get it below that hard water stain there so when I put in my cleaning solution it's not too diluted I have about a gallon of water here I'm just going to pour that into the toilet and now I've dropped my water level way down you can see the hard water deposits up in the toilet there and back here and underneath so what I'm going to do is I bought a bottle of vinegar special for this and I'm just gonna pour this in and this will take a while and fill it up slowly so you're not just draining it down the back end of the toilet and then once it gets to that hard, hard water spot if you keep adding it's just gonna keep running down so I'm gonna stop there and now I'm gonna rub it around and virtually the stuff on the bottom I'm not going to do anything with. Um, that'll just sit there. I don't want to run the brush back down so and lose any of this concentration. So I'm going to run this vinegar around the toilet and the hard water stains here. And this is going to take a while. This is a weaker cleaning solution so it has acetic acid in it which is obviously an acid and that breaks down the hard water deposits the calcium and lime so now that I've scrubbed it around I'm gonna let it sit here and then I'm gonna come back in about five minutes and I'll do that again we've had about five minutes go by And I'm going to wait five more minutes. Okay, I should really set a timer here. I filled this up, fell asleep last night. Um, so I didn't get to come back up here. The stains, the, the little mineral ring, pee ring, I don't know what it is. Around where the water level is, that has not gone away. And along with the deposits along the edge of the toilet bowl right here so that's still there um, little scrubbing here and there was a bunch of black stuff that had settled out to the bottom here which was all across the bottom of the toilet and you can see that and it's looks like there's a poop in there but it's not and I'm going to just flush this. And you can see a lot of it came out. There's a little on the sides here from just soaking all night. Let's see if I can 
loosen it up with the brush. We didn't do it. So there must have been, there was a lot of black stuff that had fallen out, so there must have been a lot of stuff up inside the toilet that had settled down and out. So it seemed to do okay for anything that was inside where the vinegar solution was. And you can see that's super clean in there now. One little spot, but these seem to be coming off pretty easy. So the vinegar lifted it off the bottom of the toilet. The toilet's way cleaner on the inside. But as you can see, there's still mineral deposits up along the edge of the toilet, um, along the rim, and also along the water edge here. So the vinegar solution works well for anything that it gets to sit in, it looks like. Um, doesn't really have enough power to quickly dissolve any of the stuff outside of the bowl. Thanks for watching.